This is Phantasmagoria 2, a puzzle of the flesh. Some of you may recognize the name. I'm of course referring to the original game. Um, this is uh, supposedly the sequel, uh, I guess. Uh, this is pretty much my first uh, full motion video game uh, I'm about to play. Now, the reason why I'm playing this instead of the original is even though it's called Phantasmagoria 2, it has nothing to do with the original. Nothing whatsoever. Completely different story, different characters, different setting. I'm going into this completely blind. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. And the opening cinematics looks like the intro to Saw. I'm Mike Wallace, and this is another 60 Minutes. Having a severe psychotic episode, keep your hands away from No, the not the needle, anything but that. Yeah, this was me after watching 2016's Ghostbusters. Frank. Boo! Rubbish! Bill squabble. Yes, this is in fact a real hospital, folks. Ooh, he's gonna get the electro shock therapy. You see, you can't have the voltage too high, or else you might end up killing him. Can you hear me? Rise and shine, Mr. Turtles, Freeman. Rise and episode. shine. We're going to help you. Yeah, that's what they all say. Guess where this is going, Curtis? Aw, oh, look at that, he just wants his binky. Set for high voltage. <laughs> oh man. Ah, so this is what Obamacare looks like. I am Barack Obama and I approve this message. Look man, if you want longer lasting gum, some sacrifices will need to be made. Mm, nope. Don't recognize that person, starring that person, starring that one. Okay, you're just throwing names out there. Ah, uh, the music's getting funky. So, based off of the intro, I'm gonna assume this isn't going to be a light-hearted comedy. Oh, oh man. Did I miss the view? Damn it. It's a good thing we're fading through his morning routine. I don't think we need to see the whole thing. All right, time in control. Oh, wait, is he following the cursor? Huh, interesting. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm waiting. Click on this. Big purple bags under the eyes. Very attractive. Oh, very attractive indeed. Go over here. Click on the nightstand. Screwdriver, a granola bar, condoms. Is that a condom? Oh wow. Ah, Polaroid. Anything else? Uh, nope. It's a good thing we saw him closing the drawer. It's very critical. 
Anything else? No? Uh, let's head out. Ooh, what to click, what to click. Click here. Another Polaroid. Go next. Here? Huh. Hey, morning, Bob. <laughs> oh my. Build a little house in there, huh? Who's a QT rat? Who's a QT? You are. Uh, one thing I have to mention since this is the, um, this is the, uh, GOG version. GOG, uh, it doesn't have the black interlace uh, lines that you would normally see on a FMV titles. So I know, I know they sell this on Steam also that uh, they have the uh, interlace lines. But uh, in place of that, uh, the footage here it's a bit pixelated. So yeah, um. The thing with the uh, interlace lines, it's supposed to make the footage go faster. See, the technology, the rec I guess the recording technology at the time was a bit slow. It just wasn't there yet. So they had to put those lines there to, I guess, make it run faster. <laughs> so, let's see. Bookcase. Maybe I'll find the strategy guide for this game. House next door, Murder Beach. I've read every book I own at least twice. Maybe I should go to a library. Yeah, you ever do that? Just walk up to your bookshelf and remark at how crappy your books are. So yeah. firm. No wallet. Man, no life. Huh. There's my wallet. Blob? <laughs> <laughs> did he just say blob? What? Did the did the rat drag the wallet under there? How is that possible? Hmm. Uh, hmm. You're getting rad. You stole my wallet. Admit it. Okay, so... So what, he, he can't get it? Oh, he can't move the couch? Oh, come on. Oh, move the couch! Jeez! Oh my god. Oh, I guess I gotta click on the rat. I guess click on the couch. Alright, you little snot. You drag my wallet under there, you can just go bring it back. Blob. Bob, come out of there. What? Are you serious? Oh, that's just great. Great! I lost both the wallet and the rat. <sighs> uh, how do I get how do I get it out of there? Granola? Wow. I can't believe I'm figuring this out, folks. This is crazy. Uh, hey, check it out. I got a tasty treat. Gotcha. And it brought out the wallet. Right. That's unbelievable. It's just... Wow. Wow. Yeah, folks. So far, these puzzles are not impressing me. Not at all. Uh, 
All right, let's get out. Oh man, no keys. You can't go with me. Bob's the only rattle out at WinTech. What? What did he say? Home, uh, Wintech, and the Dreaming Tree. Oh, let's go to Inatech because I know they're gonna drag me in on Sundays. Whoa, don't establish any transition shots because that would be too easy. Okay, where to go? Where to go? Let's go in here. to ask, what workplace would allow a person to show up in a gray pocket tee? I have to wonder. Mm, I guess there's nothing here. <sighs> this is a very orderly supply closet. It's a bunch of boxes. Bill Gates ransacks his own supply closet. You have acquired the monitor to an Apple II. Do 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 do. I'm just gonna stuff this in my pants. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Nothing! Great! That accomplished a lot. Well, it's a good thing I found that tiny door just in case I needed to stash something. Ah, oh, he's putting the boxes back. <laughs> it's important nobody finds my hidey hole. Thrill at the tedium horror of moving boxes. It's a, it's a good thing we have this footage, game. It's a very critical scene. <sighs> Why is it so dark in the office? Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's a scanner. I can't use it. The door is rusted shut. Locked. Oh boy. I can't believe I'm stuck already trying to get to work. Can't get in my own office. What the hell? Oh, wait, 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 wait. L hang on, hang on. L let me try this. Yeah, yeah. Move the boxes out of the way. Uh, screwdriver? Yeah. Now we can finally get to work through the little door. Uh, that's not how you use a screwdriver. <laughs> and you have failed! Ah, oh. False alarm, folks. False alarm. Lost in a workplace. A common problem among office workers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe there's something in the wallet? Maybe? Uh, maybe if I try it on the scanner. No? Hmm. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Um, wow. I'm really gonna have to figure this one out. Um, oh, uh, looks like I'm getting close to my, uh, recording time limit, so, um, I'll be, uh, right back. Alright, so, obviously this is gonna be a long game. Um, it might take me a couple of days to play through it. So, what my plan is for this Let's Play is to record this video up to the one hour mark. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try. I think I could succeed. I think I can. So with that being said, let's recap on what happened so far in this game. We woke up this morning, tried to go to work, 
but our wallet was missing. As it turned out, our pet rat had somehow dragged the wallet underneath the couch. Now instead of moving the 30 pound couch, our character here happens to be a master and commander of animals, and will send his pet rat to retrieve any items that are lost, as long as he has a piece of tasty treat like a granola bar with him. So after all that, well, we got hung up on the locked door with the electronic scanner. But I have found the solution, as we're about to see. So I tried to use the wallet on the scanner, but that didn't work. So I had no choice but to read, read up on the instructions. And I found out if you click the wallet on this here icon, the eyeball icon, uh, it should uh, open the wallet. And there's my ID with a goofy grin on it. <laughs> Joy. This should work. Yes. Colonel Sanders is sure as paranoid about his secret recipe. Wow, green cubicles and purple walls. If that don't scream horror, I don't know what will. Oh, I don't know. Let's hang out by the water cooler. Oh, damn. That's some good water. Wow, that accomplished a lot. Thanks, game. Ah. <sighs> Gotta find my cubicle now. I don't know which one it is, a common problem among office workers. The game should tell you, but, well, I guess I gotta find it. Oh, let's go here. And there's a coat hanger with a coat on it, so let's go the way of the coat. And obviously it's not my cubicle. Hey Bob, listen, um, if you're done with the Venomin files, you mind if I borrow them for an hour or so? The Venomin? What? Forget it, rat boy. They wouldn't help you anyway. We both know that I'm the one that's going to get that big promotion, so um, <laughs> piss off. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. As always, it's been a pleasure. You're a real team player, Bob. Oh, what the hell? He's giving the finger like, Ugh. I would kick your ass up and down the office if you gave me that finger. Come on, man. You know, I wonder if there's an option to drag Bob out into the parking lot and give it to him office space style. Let's see. Nope. Uh-oh. Do I dare face the wrath of Bob? <laughs> the petty office politics of Phantasmagoria 2. You ever do that, just casually give the finger behind somebody's back? I don't, mainly because I'm not a pussy. Okay, where to go, where to go. Let's go here. Ooh, a woman. Please be Jillian Anderson. Please be Jillian Anderson. Please be Scully. Damn. Hey, Therese. Uh, could you please put the Sagawa file back onto the main directory? I'm going to need it soon. What will you give me for it? Uh, a cookie? Um, uh, <laughs> Some sweated, Curtis. I'm checking it in right now. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna go slice off my ear and mail it to you. Thrilling, isn't it? When the guy we didn't know is asking the people we didn't know about a file we didn't know anything about. Ah, <sighs> great. Now I'm lost. Can't even find my own cubicle space. So now I'm just nosying around people's cubicles for no reason whatsoever. Just another typical day at the office. Ugh, oh, the camera switched perspectives. Now I'm really lost. You know, the more I'm gonna stare at green cubicles, the more I'm gonna go crazy from it. Who's in this cubicle? A bald man. Tom? Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you, but um, I'm finishing up the uh, Veneman document today. I was just wondering. Well, you to try, to start next. try the Penske files. Let's see. Hey, wait, you're not Penske material. I think I'll put you on the documentation for Allotheria 9. Yay! Hey. Oh, Chris. Woohoo! Nice work. 
Oh, by the way, we are putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports, so if you could just go ahead and do that, that would be great. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, this cubicle's going green. Oh, booga, booga. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me, Curtis. Oh, you were too scared of me last night. Ew. Me. Last night was so... So <laughs> average. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get a cubicle, you two. Whoa. Hey, Curtis, my man. Playa. Well, I guess chicks do dig a guy with a pet rat. He's such a stud muffin. Ah, click on it again. Hey, babe. Hi, sweetie. You're smothering me. Oh, Curtis. Why? Why all the secrecy? Are you ashamed of me or something? Well, yeah. I just don't want everybody knowing our business, that's all. I want you all to myself. Let's meet at the dreaming tree after work, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, I just had a thought. What if what they did last night also included the rat? Ooh, oh, I don't want to think about it. <sighs> Man. You know, here's the problem with exploring this place. Is that there's so many angles to click from. There are so many perspectives and POVs to go to, different screens popping up. You you will become lost very easily. And for an office space this small, there shouldn't be this many angles to click from. This many uh, POVs. But it's happening here. Man. Finally found my cubicle. God damn. And now, my average day at work begins. <laughs> Very funny, Bob. You got mail. Well, good morning, oh, sleeping no. beauty. Hello. Oh, were you uh, up too late watching Beavis and Butthead? Or organizing your stamp collection? Actually, I was oh, my God. Morning. My rat stole my wallet. Yeah, a likely story. Yeah. Yeah, you just couldn't haul your lazy butt out of bed, huh? Look out! It's huh? a box in Godzilla! I, on the other hand, have a social life. Uh-huh. Yes, I was out dancing until dawn. <laughs> but here I am on time and fresh as a daisy. A daisy, huh? You know, I could say something. D don't you if go I there! If I were wittier... <laughs> don't go there! I will slap you, girlfriend! I'll see you later, mean boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gave him the snap. So, everyone is sexually attracted to Curtis, both woman and man. He has a picture of his rat. Oh god, am I really looking through this guy's posted notes? Oh god. Well, let's work on those TPS reports. Phantasmagoria! Contact your network administrator. Change my password. Oh damn, what was it? Phantasmagoria! Trying to remember your password! Now you see, this is a real problem because if you can't log in, you'll have to ask somebody. Oh, I don't know. Maybe his password is the name of his stupid rat. Damn, that's one hell of a sneeze. Man, if you get your password wrong, it really lets you know. Ouch, damn, my tooth exploded. Well, 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 looks like Bill Gates tried to contact tech support, but instead gets telekinetically punched in the mouth. Pow, right in the kisser. Whoa, you got some ketchup on your keyboard. Freak. Hey, that's not very nice. Loading. 
Well, that was quite something, don't you say? That's sad, all these phone numbers and no Domino's Pizza. Before making any calls, um, I'm gonna, I wanna finish exploring this area. So, let's go in here. Ooh, ominous music, that can't be good. Oh my! <laughs> Oi! This is Michael Dundee, regional manager and big time game hunter. I'm not in the office at the moment, so please leave a message. And oi! Put those cover sheets on those TPS reports, you bloody bastard! Ah, <sighs> man. This is a very quaint office. Hmm. You ever do that? You ever sneak into your boss's office and start rifling through his stuff? Ooh, the Thanksgiving party. Oh, he remembers that well. Hmm, I have a photographic memory of the times I've been hit. Uh, nothing here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder if this is where he keeps his fountain pens. Oh, busted. Oh, hello, Curtis. Oh, Mr. Warner. What can I do for you, my boy? Oh, sir, oh, nothing, uh, sir. I was just looking to borrow your antelope head. Looking for a Word 8 manual. Oops. That all? Yes, yes, that's all. I'll have the systems group send one to you right away. Great. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back to my cubicle, uh, yeah. Goodbye now. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Curtis. Well, that accomplished something. Huh? Oh, man, I am parched. But don't, 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 don't. Why, look. There's a lion at the watering hole. <laughs> Hardly. More like a wildebeest. <laughs> oh, man! Damn good water. I like you, Curtis. Oh, ho! There's more to you than meets the eye. It's Curtis more than meets the eye. <laughs> I think that's sexual harassment. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take it. Oh, wow. Ah, it's getting steamy up in here. <laughs> Alright, back to my cubicle. Yep, this is it. Phantasmagoria! I'm watching you, computer. I'm watching you. You're not going to be landing any punches on me anytime soon, that's for sure. Alrighty. Um, let's make a call. Let's see, 6125. Uh, hello, tech support? Hey, uh, there's something wrong with my computer. Hey, have you seen anything weird today? Just your freak. Well, that and I just got memed. Yeah, well, okay. Um, all right, I'll talk to you later. Wait a minute, you're serious. Hey, what's wrong, bud? I think my computer's beating me up. Just bad brains. Seriously, later we should drive. totally talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Ooh, I can make a call to myself. Let's try that. Hey there, sexy. Oh, Curtis Craig. Hello, Curtis, you filthy little mother licking. Ugh, goddamn telemarketers.
Jocelyn. Man, I'm just getting a kick out of this. this is hey, baby. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? I'm fine every time I think about last Oh, night. wow. How about you? I'm better now. When I think about you, I touch myself. I love you. Love the sound of your voice. So, uh, what are you wearing? Oh wait, I already know, I don't I? Curtis. I don't deserve you, Joss. That much is very true. Bye. Time to write a pornographic fanfic about her. Hi Tom, this is uh, Curtis. I'm just calling to let you know that the uh, Veneman document uh, will be finished on time. Oh my god! A Go thrilling plot it. point! Right, the Veneman okay. files are about to be finished today! And then he gets punched again. Terese huh. speaking. Terese. Hi, it's Curtis. Hi. What can I do for you? I don't know. Um, could you? I forgot. Uh, I, was, I was wondering if... Um, I... <laughs> this is going to sound really lame, but I just forgot why I called you. <laughs> oh, God, I'm such a dork. You have to admit, this is not Curtis's best day ever. Bob. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like I want to talk to the king of the assholes. <laughs> oh, come on. I was looking forward to that call. The, the riveting conversations between them. Ah, uh, well, we may never get that chance. Paul. Paul Warner. Yeah, P.A. Warner. Um, sir, this is Curtis Craig. I, uh... Curtis, how are you? Sir? Curtis! Um, um, just fine, sir. Thank you. Uh, you asked me to let you know when the uh, Mudget documentation was finished, and I, I posted it on the uh, network place late last night. Cut! Cut! Fine work. You're one of my best, you know that? I'll be keeping my eye on you. Oh yes, such a riveting performance. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it. Is that it? Blob. <sighs> um, wait, I can't log on? Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Ah. I heard that, Curtis. The water cooler? Hmm. Riveting, isn't it? You ever get the feeling of deja vu? Or is it just me? Oh well. Uh... 
Um, hmm. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm completely stumped. Yeah, you know, it may seem like I'm giving up early, but... That's, oh, I can talk to Trevor. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Hey, my man. What's up? Jesus. What happened to your face? <laughs> I was playing Minecraft and everything blacked out. What if I said I don't know? Shit, Trevor, I think I'm going nuts. Curtis, what, what happened? What, did somebody hit you or something? Somebody asked me if I, I wanted a knuckle God, sandwich. I said death. sure. And um, somebody slugged me, but there was no way there. That sounds nuts, doesn't it? That's that's just Honey, totally you're going silly. crazy. No. Of course not. Uh, hey, remember when uh when I got the flu and I thought Dolly Parton was in the closet with a chainsaw? Well, we called it a flu. Probably got a virus. Kurt. A virus that slaps you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's or it could be a violent outbreak of facial herpes. I had one of those once. It was awful. Uh, I'm gonna stop right here for the moment. I got some things to take care of. Uh, I'm gonna do a fade two uh, transition, so uh, I'll be right back. So I decided to take the opportunity to read up on the walkthrough guide, and um, you know the whole Vediman files, the whole Penske files, where our character tried to log onto the computer before being punched in the face by an unseen spirit and being called a freak. Well, we still gotta work on them. Uh, we still have to finish them up. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Also, for some unexplained reason, we have to go back home and check our mail. Yep, we gotta do that. And then after that, we gotta go back to work and show off those pictures we have in our inventory to our co-workers. Apparently that's normal. I mean, don't you do that? Don't you go around the office showing off pictures to your co-workers? Hmm. Right. Anyway, yeah, that's what we gotta do. So, let's jump right back into the game. Well, I could see he's hard at work. Oh, my life is a lie. <laughs> mm, before I go back home, to see if uh, I can talk to anyone else. Uh, nope, can't talk to him. Can't talk to her. You see, this is one of those uh, point and uh, click adventure games where you need to exhaust all your options uh, before moving on, or else the game will not progress unless you used up all your options, really. That's what it comes down to. And, uh, that could be annoying onto itself. Yeah, you have no idea what you're doing. You have to look up the, uh, guide. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Oh, let's talk to Not Scully. Trace? I forgot why I came here. Ask you a question. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there are things in the world beyond what we can see? Like your panties? Uh, like stuff? Yeah. I think we're surrounded by things we cannot see. Like air and stuff? Things we cannot see until we start looking for them. Oh, dial it back, lady, will ya? Biological clock is ticking like a time bomb. Tick, 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 tick. Hmm. Bob. Oh, Bob. Let's see you and me go out for coffee, shall we? Alright. Ah. <sighs> You know, I'm never gonna get tired of looking at the same interior. It's very vibrant. All right, time to go home and check my mail during the workday.
Hey Blob, I'm back, but I gotta get back to work. All right, so let's go back to the front door, check the mail. Ooh, I hope Jillian Anderson wrote me back. Okay, so, like with the wallet. Hmm. That's funny. Um, what? I can't check the mail? Wait. What? That worked! But how? Dear Curtis, having a good time? Glad you're not here. Hey! Ha ha ha, Rick James, bitch. Will that ever get old? So... <laughs> So, with the wallet, I had to click the wallet on the eyeball icon to open it. But for the mail, I had to click the mail on myself. D d that doesn't make any sense. You can't, you can't just change the rules. You can't just change the game mechanics on a whim. You can't. Goodbye, Blob. Don't go consorted with the dark ones. Oh, Draven Tree, one day I'll visit you. One day. Hmm, green cubicles and purple walls, because that's how we do things at Joker Incorporated. Okay, Baldy, you wanna look at this photo? No? Huh, hmm. Uh... Oh, you want to look at this ID? Hmm. Hey, Tom. Listen, I was wondering if you knew why my clearance is so low. I can't even get to the cafeteria with my car key. You're kidding. No. Well, that can't be right. I'll look into it for you, Curtis. Great. Yeah, Curtis, I'll look into it. Look at me go. Room, room. You think you're so special, Curtis, huh? You think you're special because you got hair? <laughs> oh, um... Look at this. Alright, uh, sexy postcard. Maybe she sent this. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe not. Hey. Thanks for the postcard. <laughs> She's like, uh... Curtis, I didn't send you this. I've never seen it before. Ooh, oh. awkward! <laughs> yeah, I, I thought... <laughs> Trevor. He's just screwing around. Yeah, uh, that's it. Oh, that Trevor. <laughs> Will he ever stop? <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Could it be? No, it can't be. Um. Oh, Christmas photo. Hmm, have I been clingy and smothering to my boyfriend lately? I better call him. Hey, oh. the company Christmas party? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember after the party, too. Ew. You did a beer pong and puked yeah, all over a really cop car. <laughs> kind of surprised that you let anyone take a picture of us out in public together. Since I'm basically ashamed to be with you at any given time. Wait, is she mad at me? Did something happen? Uh, 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 uh. I think a plot point just puked all over this game. Ah, uh, I love the big lug. If only he wasn't such a constant disappointment. Dear Curtis, I think we should start seeing other people Josh, and- What? Look at this. It's a picture of my folks. Well, let me see. <gasps> Father is pretty sexy. Oh, come on. But you know, you, you look a lot like your mother. She's not very mm -hmm. sexy. I am so offended at that comment. You take it back, you lying whore! 
Hmm, yesterday he showed me a picture of his head photoshop on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's body. What's he trying to say? We have a very strange relationship. Alright, anything else? Post gonna show that. You wanna see my screwdriver? Nope. Wallet? Nope. Come on. All right. Um, let's go to Trevor. I bet you sent the sexy postcard, haven't you? This crossword puzzle is very challenging. But I got in the mail today. Somebody's hot for your little ass, you stud. Down, girl! Just, um, have mercy on the poor girl when you find her, Fabio. Spoil her for all other men if you're not careful. He's totally got it in for me so bad, so much. Don't you got work, yeah. Curtis? <laughs> Do you remember that party at all? Uh, no, it's uh, it's all a blur of white rum, hot music, and really bad food. Damn good thing you're a perpetual designated driver. Yeah, that's me. A sobriety poster child. <laughs> you know, I do seem to remember Bob blowing cheese on the dance floor. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. That would have been cool to see Bob just puking his guts out. <laughs> hey, Trev. I'm working, Curtis. Look what I found. Mm -hmm. I forgot I had this. Oh, those are folks? Mm -hmm. Nice looking couple. No, you look a lot like your mom. Your eyes. Dude, you look like your mom. Take it back. Fruitcake? What? <laughs> Touchy. Looks like somebody's got sand it is, JJ. Wanna see my screwdriver? No? Okay. Let's show Horny Scully the pictures. Yeah, cuz I'm sure she wants to see this hey, nasty Trace. postcard. I know you like old movie stars. Oh, let me see. Oh, Trace. <laughs> Don't we? Oh. Oh. Looks like someone's got a crush on you. Yeah, well. Would you like to know a secret? What? It's from me. Shocker! Oh, baby. So, uh, I'm just gonna go back to my cubicle and jerk off in peace. So, you wanna see this? No. You wanna see this? No. Alrighty. Oh, Bob! Maybe he wants to see the Christmas photo. Hey, Bob. What do you want, jackass? You the same date to the Christmas party this year? I, I figure she'll give you a discount now that she's turned 60. Kiss my ass. Ouch, what a devastatingly witty retort. You win this round, Craig. But the war between us is not over. Oh no, not by a long shot. You want to see this? No. How about this? No? Alrighty then. Okay. Hmm. No, not her. Ah, water cooler. Oh man, I'm parched. 
You ever get the feeling of deja vu, or is it just me? Oh well. Well, I guess it's time to work on those vitamin files. Oh, both my phone and my PC hate me. What you got, computer, huh? You wanna say something to me, huh? Um... Um... Ooh, the Venom files. You know, before viewing this, let's view the other uh, emails. Got nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, these emails have nothing. Hmm. Oh, okay. Here are the emails from our co-workers. Fluffy bunnies. Hmm. So, this email has nothing to do with anything. And um, instead of typing in a reply, we have three options here. The straight reply, funny reply, or sarcastic reply. Um, let's do the straight reply. Not too bad, Trev. Thanks for the twisted little joke. Hmm. Okay, an anonymous email titled Dreams. Gee, I wonder who sent this. I started dreaming about you. We're making love in a cabin with a howling windstorm outside. The cabin starts to rip apart, but we don't care. We don't stop. We're sweating, groaning, screaming, when the wind picks us up and spins us around and around. It's like a pornographic Wizard of Oz. I can't reply to this? Ah, oh, come on. Restricted areas. I have heard a lot of speculation and rumors about the nature of the areas restricted to third floor employees. I would like to emphasize that these areas are restricted for your safety and the safety of our consumers. The clean rooms in the basement level must be kept free of particles and contamination so that our products are safe and reliable. What do we make here? The labs on the fourth floor are off limits due to the toxic and volatile nature of some of the chemicals involved in the creation of pharmaceuticals. Let's all work together with the Wintech team and respect the other departments. Remember, no one's trying to keep you out. We want to keep you all in. In the Wintech family, that is P.A. Warner. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, if you haven't heard the good news yet, Wintech won the lawsuit brought against us by Mrs. Fionola Jeter regarding our Slimerol diet aid. We successfully proved in a court of law that Slimerol did not cause Mrs. Jeter's liver to shut down. That was caused by excessive consumption of mouthwash. Slimerol did not cause Mrs. Jeter to go blind. That was caused by reading in front of a color TV. Oh god. Mrs. Jeter's hair was blue before she even began taking the product. Well, that and she drank mouthwash. Huh, <sighs> whatever. Oh, uh, so Trevor just sent me a story about leprechauns. Right. Uh, I'll send him a funny reply. Oh, from Jocelyn. Hi, baby. I just wanted to let you know I'm thinking about you. Have a good morning. I love you, Joss. Ooh, let's do sarcastic reply. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a lovely day. This is the best job in the world. I'm so happy I could just shit. <laughs> uh... All right, time to work on those vitamin files. Where was it? Uh, there you are. Man, this is a lot of text. Phantasmagoria! Reading through your file! Uh, not reading it, not reading it, so not reading it. Wait, what? I click on the email and it shows me this. Hmm, I could click on it again. Same thing, so every time I click on the email, it's gonna show me this. Oh, something different. Hmm. Stupid HP monitors. Oh, 
Please, no. Please. They they remade no, Point Break. No, 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 get that one. Get that one. Oh, it's no, it's just... Oh. Good boy. <laughs> just, how could they do this to the memory of Patrick Swayze? Jehovah's Witnesses, do you have the time to talk about God? Golly, lady, you okay? Let me help you up. Oh. Hmm, those are some very successful encyclopedia salesmen. <laughs> I miss you, Julian Anderson. They canceled Firefly. <laughs> okay. I should probably switch operating systems. Oh God! <laughs> HP issued a recall for all of its PC monitors. Don't let this happen to you. Buy McCaffrey antivirus protection software. Hello, Curtis. You miserable, insane wretch. Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. I'm not insane. Are you not? But you know your mother was. <laughs> Not always. My mother was a saint! She wasn't always the violent, gibbering, drooling, lunatic she became. Was she? You drove her to it. I did not! I was only six years old! Yes, a six-year-old little monster who drove his poor mother to madness and finally to suicide. No! Duh! <sighs> oh no, I peed myself again. Freak. You know what, Bob? That's it! You and me, outside right now! Oh man, I gotta lay off that water. Ah, uh, looks like I can't access my computer anymore. I guess I should call Baldy, tell him my computer's broken. Trevor Barnes? Oh crap, wrong number. Uh, have you ever felt like you were going nuts, man? Oh yeah, all the time. Sometimes I feel attracted to other men. Come on, Trevor, Come on. this isn't all about you being gay. I I can't get up at the moment, uh, yeah. Trevor. Curtis, come over here right now, okay, bud? And bring me more Wait. of those darling pictures. I gotta go, Trev. I meant to call the bald guy. What was his name? No, what am I doing? Tom. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess I'm not meant to call him. Mm, might as well go see Trevor. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. Uh, I forgot to show him my ID. What do you want, Curtis? Your clearance is higher than mine. Have you ever been to uh, any of the restricted areas? No way, man. And I don't want to. Boy, they're probably like breeding two-ton hamsters down there or something, man. Or rats. Tell you what, Curtis, you can visit my restricted area anytime you want. Hey yo! You know, that could be it. In a plot twist, turns out it's the rat. And the music craps out. Wonderful. Anyway, uh, Blob turns out to be behind the whole thing. Uh, Blob, it was you this entire time? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, it was me, you pathetic fool. Uh, anything else? No. No. Okay. Put it back, put it back. I guess not. 
Uh, oh wow, I just checked the time and I'm at the one hour length for this playthrough. So this is gonna be part one of my let's play of Phantasmagoria 2, A Puzzle of the Flesh. Part two, we're gonna pick up where we left off, which is right here, obviously. So stay tuned. 